This is a first generation Lexus GX 470. This ran between the years of 2003 and later became the GX 460 all the way up to 2009. This has all the balls of a Land Cruiser, but with a lot more bells and whistles. In fact, this is one of the most over-engineered mall crawlers that you're ever going to find. This particular one is a 2004 model, and in this video, I'm going to go into the details of this car and why this particular car is very interesting to me. In 2004, the base model GX was nearly $50,000. That kind of money gets bandied about quite a bit these days, but in 2004, that was a lot of money to be spending on any vehicle that you're going to be driving every day. The competition to this car was the Mercedes-Benz ML320 and the disastrous LR3. The reason I say that is because it would cost you a few trips around the world just to keep that car maintained and running on the road. And that's the beauty to the GX model as well as the Land Cruiser is that these cars are utterly and undeniably reliable. You've heard me talk about the virtues of Toyota quality in other videos, and it's certainly represented here. But this is where Toyota threw all of its muscle into a extremely capable 4x4, and yet still achieving a feeling of luxury when you drive it. This particular car, by the way, has 275,000 miles on it. That is a lot of miles for any car, and yet this car still feels like it's factory fresh. It is amazing. Everything works and it feels great to drive. The power plant in the GX470 is the venerable 4.7 liter V8 engine. This engine is silky smooth, very powerful, and ultra reliable. In fact, the only thing you need to do other than to change the oil regularly is to do your timing belt kit every 100,000 miles. And you'll probably do that three or four times before the life of this engine has expired. The only downside to the 4.7 liter engine was the mileage. It got a miserable 15 miles per gallon city, 18 miles per gallon highway. And I guess that's the reason that Lexus went to the 4.6 liter engine later on. And I would imagine that the reason they did that was to comply with cafe standards which a lot of manufacturers were trying to achieve at that time. 4.7 has quite a lot of guts. So no problem there. As you drive the GX, you're just looking for somewhere to take it, right? On the freeway, you're just not taking it to its its limits of capabilities. It just feels like such a shame for a car of this stature to be just driving down the freeway. You want to like get off in some riverbed. And take it to its absolute limits um, so but that's the other point of this uh, car is that you know when you go to look for a good used one you're generally going to find uh, a good copy that's never ever been off-road this car will take you to places where the car commercials tell you not to you know those commercials the ones that say closed course do not attempt this uh, this car can do just about anything you throw at it. Just about. Unless you put it in two feet of screen, then maybe you've pushed it to the limit. I was really pushing it. I was looking for it to fail. The cabin is pretty quiet in this car, and there are
there are no squeaks, no rattles, nothing. This car's built like a tank. Yellow. I think it's better than a tank. I prefer the uh, ride quality sport mode over the comfort mode almost anywhere. Freeway or back roads uh, just because the comfort mode is like riding a walrus. It's super sloppy and I've never found a reason to actually use it. Uh, so I keep it in sport mode all the time. It feels much more composed all around. GX, by the way, stands for Grand Crossover. This particular car was pretty well equipped uh, with Navi and the Mark Levinson stereo and it came in at 52,513 when it was brand new. So while I'm back here, I want to show you the Carfax service history. Now, you can't get a better Carfax than this one. This has 46 service records listed here, starting from new. It's a one owner and it goes through every single item that was done on time at the dealership and you can see that nothing is out of the ordinary here these are all just basically oil changes inspections and of course the timing belt replacement uh, at the 92,000 mile and again uh, near 200,000 miles and this goes all the way Still 275,000 miles. So, as far as car faxes go, that's what you're always looking for. Now, this particular car has highway miles on it. In order to really confirm highway miles, though, you want to corroborate that with some extra information, and here it is. Uh, you'll see by looking at this front fascia, you'll see a pretty high level of uh, impact with uh, small bits of debris that get kicked on the highway and you can see that so this is a classic highway driven car I have a video that I go into detail on how to determine uh, for sure a highway driven car and it involves looking at the brake pedal wear uh, seat belt wear and I'll put a link to that uh, right here but you're always looking for a car that has highway miles on it that is way superior than a car that has city miles on it. That's what makes this particular car an amazing find. The plastic and rubber components on any Toyota is going to be superior than a lot of other manufacturers, starting with the headlight lenses. What you find in headlight lenses with the Toyota lineup is that they use a very, very high grade of plastic. And what you get is a lens that lasts uh, a good long time, but even if it gets oxidized, you can actually remove that oxidation and reveal some of the original quality of the plastic. Uh, another place that you'll find uh, really high quality materials, this is the windshield cowl. You can see just how nice of shape it is uh, in. And you don't find this uh, level of quality of plastic in other manufacturers. Inside the cabin of the GX you find all the controls are pretty basic, straightforward, nothing complicated about it. Uh, this is a fairly low res display for the GPS but that's what it was at the day and take a look at that. That's a cassette deck. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Now it's a funny uh, feature that this car has that it has the CD player back here. Um, this is a disc player. <laughs> this uh, previous owner never used this, by the way. It still has the original stickers on it, uh, which is kind of a cool thing. You don't find that much. The GX has all of the features that you would find on a highly capable off road SUV, uh, low and high gearing. Uh, you have the limited slip diff right here, 
And uh, it also has a feature that if you're going up a hill, it's, it's hill assist so that the uh, car doesn't slip down uh, backwards on a steep incline. And conversely, it has this downhill assist control, which modulates the engine and braking system so that you don't get down the hill too fast. It has a ride height feature. You can choose between low, uh, neutral, or high. Uh, and then it also has a uh, comfort and sport suspension control, which all, all of which works perfectly, by the way. The suspension system that uh, the GX employs uh, was developed by a company in Dunsboro, Western Australia, and this is called the Kinetic uh, Suspension System, and it's ultra high quality, very capable, and it works perfectly. The previous owner of this car, that looks like never had anyone in the back seat. I don't even think they had anybody in the passenger seat, and you can see just how beautifully kept it is. In fact, look at this. You don't see this much on a car, but when you do, you know that the owner really <laughs> didn't have anybody uh, sitting back here. That's the original tape on that little piece there. It's always a good find on a good used car. One of the oddities of the GX model was the swinging door. Now this was an odd configuration only because if you're parked in a situation where a car is behind you, uh, that is a large door and that would prevent you from opening it up uh, all the way. Uh, but you know, this is a four by four, not to be confused with a grocery hauler. Another oddity on the GX are these fold away seats. Now, when you put these down, you have no place to put your feet. Uh, so really for adults, it's not a comfortable ride at all. Uh, for kids, it's fine. Uh, so just got to know that. Mind you, this car has over 275,000 miles on it. And look at this. Everything about this car is in great shape. Everything. The seats, the trim, the wood, the dash, the controls, everything on this car is in perfect working condition. That is a true testament to Toyota quality and it cannot be matched by any German import, no Mercedes-Benz, BMW, uh, and especially the Range Rover. No way, no how. This is the very best of off-road utility, combining with reliability and durability and workmanship. It doesn't get any better than this. The GX obviously lands on the coveted Halo page. Those are the best used cars to buy. You can find that link down in the description area. And feel free to leave a comment. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. I appreciate that, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.